Hello! Welcome to week 10 of my Movember prep. I hope you enjoyed last week's video, and if you did, please make sure you've given it a thumbs up and have subscribed below. So, Movember itself is not far away, which means that I'm just over three weeks out from my first event. So, in terms of logistics, things are starting to fall into place slowly but surely. Training-wise, I've just got to get through this last little push, and then there's not much else I can really do other than staying injury-free, making sure I get enough sleep, hydration, food, etc., etc., all that good stuff. So, we're going to take a pig for a walk in the dark, as I've had quite a busy day. But then I'm going to head back in and get on with a lower body session, kicking off 1200 meter repeats outside. In fact, it's the exact same session as last week, which is very exciting for you guys, but my instruction is to do it better. So I will see you on the other side. Come on, pick. <laughs> Spoken to Johnny, who is my coach, if you don't already know, and we have taken the executive decision to call it there for the evening. Simply down to the fact that my hamstrings feel like they're gonna snap. So much fatigue in them, I cannot believe it. So that's just indicating that they haven't recovered from last week and pushing on through the sprints would probably be unwise and putting me at risk of injury. I've got a lot of volume and a lot of work under my belt, so there's no point in pushing through the finer details at this stage and risking everything falling apart. So, no sprints this evening, fought my way through the squats and RDLs, but did not feel good, did not feel pretty, everything felt out of line, and hamstrings felt like they had left the building. So, I will see you tomorrow for my upper body session. Upper body session today, hoping it goes a little bit better than yesterday did, but there is no reason for my upper body to be as fatigued as my lower body was yesterday. So, fingers crossed it goes well, and I will take you through it. Okay, gym session done. Short, sweet, didn't film that much as it was very similar to last week. Outside for a four mile run to finish and I will see you tomorrow for my threshold run. Wednesday evening, pretty simple brief tonight. Same run as last week. So, one hour at 7.30 minute per mile pace which takes me to eight miles. Pretty sure I'm wearing the same t-shirt as last week as well, actually. How consistent of me. So get this out of the way this evening, rest tomorrow, lunges Friday, mountain Saturday. So I will see you towards the end of the week. If you've been wondering how I feel my way through my longer lunging sessions, then wander no more. There you have it, a picture perfect athlete's diet. So, bad news. Five and a half kilometers of lunges this evening, which is quite upsetting for me, to be honest. So just down the road to lift where it will take me just over three hours, five minutes, give or take. The novelty is well and truly worn off from these sessions and I do not enjoy them. So I'm gonna to have to settle into five, 10 minutes of self-talk just to get my head in the game before I start. But as I am three weeks out from event number one, if I can fight my way through this, I will be in a really good place. So. Fingers crossed all goes well. I get my hydration right, as that has been the challenge the past couple of weeks, but I've got my electrolytes, I've got my carbs, there's a water fountain nearby, this is all on me now. So I will see you at lift very shortly, up there. A few moments later. So,
So, good morning on my way to Ben Lomond. However, I was too tired last night to summarise how I got on with my lunges. Five and a half kilometres and I did not enjoy it one bit, but powered through the last 250 metres, which was the hardest point last week. Fuel was much better, hydration was much better, and ultimately, I've just got to get my head down and crack on with it. A few songs here or there that were playing in the gym that helped me fight through it, which was quite a nice mental release, but the monotony of it is slowly starting to drive me a little bit insane. So, three weeks to go, and then I might not ever need to lunge more than 100 metres again. So, Ben Lomond, about an hour and a half drive away now. Same brief as every week, which is four hours of heart rate around 145, as a way of finishing off the week with some high volume aerobic work. Dogs are with me again this week, so good news for all of us, really. And I will see you on the mountain. Stunning. Wind has massively picked up, temperature has plummeted. Beanie back on, jacket back on. There we are, Scotland. Just under an hour deep and only now am I shaking off the fatigue in my legs from last night's lunges. So it just felt incredibly heavy, incredibly sluggish. Well, to start with. So finally getting to a bit of a rhythm now, which is nice. Just as the weather trip there, just as the weather gets a lot worse. I have not had the best of luck the past couple of weeks, so that's Ben Lohman there. Views, as you can see, are wonderful. So I'm going to head back down and link up with the rest of the gang, grab the dogs and just head back up and down myself until we all get to the top together. If the weather doesn't pick up, I probably won't film much else, but that's Ben Lohman, so I'll see you shortly. Sadly, the weather did not get any better, so I don't have any more footage to show you, but I got the job done by repeating some sections up and down to the summit. Got to the summit twice in the end, but made the bulk of my volume towards the end up in the lower sections as the weather, as the weather wasn't so bad. So, just under 13 miles of total mountainous terrain in just under four hours. Average heart rate of 141, which is exactly where we want it to be. Now off in search of coffee and cake, and maybe for the first time in a very, very long time, some soup. I think I might be craving soup. The dogs had a wonderful time. I have confirmed it with them myself. That rounds off another training week. I hope you have enjoyed this week's video. And if you have, please make sure that you have given it a big fat thumbs up and have subscribed below. All three elements of my Movember campaign will be documented in most detail on YouTube. So please make sure you subscribe so you can see them. Just under three weeks out now, so sleep, hydration, nutrition, all pretty critical at this stage. I'm gonna try and do a little bit more on that in the weeks to come, but thank you very much for watching and see you next week.